The perfect garage size heater, and this is the InnoCraft 7500 watt. They have a 5000 and then a 10,000, obviously depending on how big your garage is. They say a single garage, go with the 5000, two car garage, which I've got right here. Go with the 75 and then, you know, from there on up, go with the 10,000. And I will tell you what, it is a nice and cozy. This sucker heats up really quick and I've already tested it out on a nice, cold, snowy morning. Before this, I had one of those torpedo type propane heaters and they work, but they definitely have their flaws. One of the biggest things, hopefully a benefit for you guys is, hey, I'm here in my garage filming, thus I need it nice and quiet. And this sucker, you can barely even hear it. So you can hear it when it's right next to me. There's a whole bunch of these heaters out there. And in comparing it with those, this is one of the most quietest, affordable, and I would say efficient, as in it heats up the garage the quickest compared to those others. CSA certified, and it does come with a one year warranty. As you're watching me install it, take note, this is not going to be the final wired installation. And that's because this is not going to be the final resting place. So I do have some Romex and Condua on order. And once I pinpoint my favorite location, it will be hard mounted, probably up from the ceiling, and then obviously hardwired in straight from the wall. If you have any doubts about wiring it up, then just call an electrician. Now, with that aside, I will say that wiring up a two switch uh, appliance or outlet is actually easier than 110. And that's because your two leads coming out, they're both hot. So that black and white wire, yes, they're both running 120 volts. And so it doesn't matter whether that's on leg one or leg two. Green is always ground or earth. And as mentioned, you will want some grommets and you know the conduit that is required per code in your city if you are doing it in its final resting place. The hardest part about this entire process is where do I actually want to mount it? And that's because I'm here in my garage. So I've got my garage door that will come up overhead. I don't, I don't want to put it, tuck it up over on that side. I'm thinking up over here on this side. I'm going to make just a little mount for this and then just literally put it on a stand and test it out in a couple different areas on, on whether I want it shooting from over there. And we'll see how it goes. You'll notice that when you shut it off, the fan keeps going, and that's because it does have a 90 second cool down cycle, just so then you're not shutting it off with it blazing hot. Now the packaging and manual really are, it has everything you need. The manual goes through all of the requirements for even what size breaker and what size wire to run it on. So just for example, this is the 70 hot, or 7,500 watt. So I need 240 volts, 60 Hertz. That's what we got running here in the US of A. And then the amps, this will draw on high close to 30 amps. So they suggest a 45 amp breaker and then some eight gauge wire. If you're going with a 5,000 watt, then that could be ran on a 30 amp breaker with some 10 gauge wire. And if you want to really bump it up to the 10,000, then that requires a 60 amp breaker and six gauge wire. It also goes over how to actually mount it. There are three holes up here, so you can actually go two holes if you want it actually fixed in that one uh, angle, or do what I did and just do the one bolt and then you can pivot it. Yes, these suckers are some pretty big lag bolts and as long as you are going up into a stud, you will have no issue just using the one bolt. To go along with the angles, you can actually make adjustments forward and back. And it does have different set points. It looks like it goes up to about 45 degrees down or up depending on which way you're looking. The two main things I really cared about was the heat up time. And when I started out this morning, it was down around 40 degrees and we're chilling at 62 so uh we're 22 degrees in about 10 to 15 minutes props on that and then how quiet it was and with it being on and it's only about two feet away i'm not even sure how well you can pick it up 
Testing, testing. Uh, let's put the mic right up to it. But um, uh, for the heat it's putting out, that's pretty dang quiet. Especially since once I find its final resting place, it's going to probably be 10 feet away from me off, off camera. Well, I don't know. This actually feels really good right here. So who knows? I might have a heater over my shoulder from, uh, for the rest of my videos. Regardless, I'd highly suggest InnoCraft. The 7500 watt does perfect for my two car garage. If you want to be nice and cozy in the wintertime, these little heaters are worth picking up. I'm DIY Pro. See you next time.